Previously on the wind song. Anyone? Yes, ma'am. She wrote hers down. Of course. <laughs> Will it be okay if I ask them all at once? Let's do one at a time. Okay. Begin. Let's go in rotation. Okay. Uh, it, it was on the, in the poem. Can you expound or explain more the phrase? Logic and foolishness are not parallel lines. <laughs> Absolutely. Logic and foolishness are not parallel lines. Moonrise. Black and glowing skies advise my infernos inside. Half the long days of divine talk. My scratch paper makes dead trees walk through portals of my automatic writing. Igniting. Exciting. It gets surprising how they drip off my lips and tongue. Like ruby pebbles turn loose and skipped across Niger rivers of all my creative jujus. I am Ayansa, poetic as Ngoma, and this is my book of moonbeams. <laughs> Pataki, oni mi ojo abameta, igbe merin odun ikba wa hugun, merin la owano jo ikba efere. Time sheltered in leaves little other course than to reflect. My memory takes me back across archives of my memories to pull this interview for you. Complete with a poem for Poetry Month, of course, and a detailed interview about my Wild Vine Grassroot film, poetry album, and audio book, all dedicated to SU. Memoirs in Waiting, Let Ba, Christ, and the Crossroads. Oni mi ojo aiku, o water merinla, o dun ba wa meji de lokun, merinle lokbona wano jo ba wa ye. It's campaign time at 90.1 Pacifica, and I am a guest on A Conscious Mindset with Brother Evans and Brother Said. I'm honored to be there. Although my place at the Radio for Peace had yet to completely unravel, tonight I assist with some radio campaigning while discussing my upcoming Red and Black Affair. Interestingly, the moon tonight was waxing in Capricorn, meaning... The trickster energy was in an increased mode. Let's see how this goes. Doc, Doc, over DK Kamal, please make sure you tune in to the uh, up, information What's activists up, and uh, all the good stuff that they're doing on that particular program. Yeah, tell them the role you played in that. Oh, no, man, it was all you, man. It was all you, definitely all you. And uh, it's a beautiful thing to see all this amazing information uh, being disseminated. Please, please, please call 713-526-5738. Uh, we need uh, the money that folds. Uh, we'll even take the money that jingles. Uh, but we know uh, you're out there and you're ready to help and continue with this wonderful mission. That you're Central Standard Time. 
And it's time once again for the Conscious Mindset. I'm one of your humble hosts, Brother Evans. On the other side of the glass, as my younger brother, another mother, brother said. And we come to you each and every Sunday night to give you something that you just can't get nowhere else. Nowhere else on the dial, FM or AM, are you going to get what we bring to you at the Conscious Mindset. And tonight we're going to ask that you do something a little different. Rather than calling in and giving your opinion, which we value so much, rather than calling in and doing promotions of your wonderful events, we want those who we've given a light to shine on, to shine on us tonight. And we know you know who you are. That's everybody, because everything comes through the conscious mindset. So the number is actually really simple. It's the same number you call to promote your event. It's the same number you call to come on and give you some exposure. It's 713-526-5738. Participate in the debate with your dollars tonight. Once again, I'm one of your humble hosts, Brother Evans. We got a jam-packed show tonight, and we appreciate you. For those who are tuned in may not understand conscious mindset. What does that mean? Well, conscious means to be awake in mindset is to be mindful and being present all the time. So that means we want our people to be awoke all the time. Once again, brother said, brother said, my younger brother, the mother, what's going on there, brother said? It's Peace. that Sunday again, brother. Peace and blessings, man. We just have to continue to keep getting people to vote, uh, realizing and understanding the opportunities that in laying and lie. And uh, not be distracted by the distractions, focusing on what really matters. As we saw yesterday, protests do make a difference. Don't believe anyone who says protests don't matter. Uh, the protests helped to reinstate uh, Dr. Lathan uh, back as the uh, HISD superintendent. She's done a fabulous job so far. And uh, it mitigated the racism and uh, the, the sexism, as I like to call it, uh, that has uh, been perpetrated by the uh, HISD uh, school board, as well as, um, you know, us allowing our focus to be on things that really matter, on things that are really important and potent as uh, supporting this show uh, that uh, gives you the information, news you can use, flavor you can savor, and you need to tell a neighbor to donate. Uh, we constantly get calls. We got calls today about can I come on the show, blah, 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 blah. Um, and we always say yes. And now is the time to, you know, continue to reciprocate or bless us, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with your presence, uh, with your dollars, uh, with the way to build us and continue to strengthen us. Otherwise, it seems like, you know, it's a one-sided relationship. And we all know one-sided relationships don't last too long. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Once again, definitely appreciate you being in the house, brother. I know we both uh, been uh, battling this week, brother. So I uh, appreciate you being here, brother. I also wanted to make sure that um, we had some some female energy with all this good brothers up in here. You know what I'm saying? But we had to have some female energies, and we didn't get enough of this lovely queen's energy last week. So, um, you know, I noticed that she's been working on this wonderful, wonderful project, and um, I'm so happy to have her back to talk about her project because um, I know how much you know this means to her. You know, as far as uh, you know, coming from a very personal space and. Uh, we want to bring back to uh, to some and reintroduce to others uh, system use. Come on back to the mic, sis. How's everybody doing this evening? My name's Ayansa Muse. I am a divinatory, visual, literary, and performing artist. And I just want to say thank you for allowing me back on the show and to greet the other guests. And I'm happy to be here during Pledge Drive, so I hope those phones are ringing. Yeah, we have to get those phones Let's ringing get those once phones again. Seven one three five two six five seven three eight. That's the number where you can participate this time, and um, so we're definitely appreciating everyone that's got to pick up that number and dial in, and uh, they can take your pledge once again. This is a pledge, and this is this comes directly as a sign of you supporting this show. So by you calling at this particular time, and we're gonna <coughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna reach out. Do we have Doc out there? Um, out there is, is, is Doc near the microphone? If you are Doc. Can you pick up? I know that he said he'd be hanging around for a minute, but um, we want to definitely bring Doc, um, if we can find Doc, and uh, bring him back to the mic.
microphone. He said he wanted to stop back by. So we definitely want to make sure that he understands that he gets in here because he, he's the reason why we're all here, you know. And so we definitely appreciate him being out there. So, um, but this is the time when you can support the, you know, the fun drive at this particular time. Once you get a number, 713-526-5738. We do have volunteers out there that's helping uh, answer the phones. We definitely appreciate you being here. So my sister, why don't you go ahead and tell the folks about your wonderful event coming up? Because I know this, once again, this is something that is very personal for you so much so that you you, you even shot it very personally from, from a lot of people's perspective go ahead yes actually uh, I did so Saturday October 27th from 6 to 9 p.m. at the shrine at the black of the black Madonna 5309 Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard Houston Texas 77021 I will be doing a free film screening of a project that I created spiritually by default if you will and it's titled leg by christ and the crossroads and it's based on the feature article of um, a collection of my writings if you will that's called the isangoma journal um, volume one memoirs in waiting hmm. so what is is goma what does Igoma mean isangoma is a zulu term that defines the high priestess of the prophetic and the healing arts Okay. Okay. So, um, so what was your inspiration for the for not only the film but how you shot it? Please tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> you put me out there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 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 unique. People aren't doing that these days. Okay. Okay. See, what had happened was. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I thought I was making a YouTube video. I thought I was just making a simple, you know, informational video to promote the journal but all of my creative juices took over that theater and communications degree kicked in and the next thing I knew I was doing lights and sound and shooting certain angles and mastering sound cues and I shot a 45 minute film on two cell phones and I was unaware that the film was 45 minutes until I was finished editing yeah, I mean, like I say, people aren't doing that these days, and then so some, and so. But like you said, it's 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 a it's a collection. But um, I'll say it's an act of faith. An act of faith. Okay. Yes, it's like we went because oftentimes when the creator calls you to do something, he she doesn't always tell you how it's going to happen. Because if you know how it's going to happen, there would be no need for faith. Faith is the belief in things unseen. So it was just a, a turn on, okay, let's shoot this scene. Okay, am I finished yet? No, keep going. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Well, it would look good if I did this. Do I have what I need to do it? Sure, camera, check, bottles, check, guest check, slips, check, shoot it. And I just kept going until I was finished. So it was definitely a move of faith. So if there's anyone out there that, I know there's a lot of people out there that have creative projects in their minds and in their souls and in their spirits, don't worry about how. Start with what you have in your hand this moment. Hmm. Start with what you already got in your hand and let God build it from there. Hmm. But the only way to do it is by stepping out on faith. Yes, sir. Yeah. Which is what the film is about, actually. That's why the title is called Leg by Christ in the Crossroads. Hmm. Do you pick the dark side? Do you pick the light side? Or do you stay in the middle and do nothing? Because even complacence no, that, is a, a choice. That's a point. Uh, because as we see with the political climate, and we definitely need you to call 713-526-5738 because we don't want to go to the dark side. We want to continue to keep giving you this light. Yes. Um, but um, one of the things I want to ask you is, is that with the political climate as it is and uh, so much uh, acrimony and so much confusion, uh, many of us are, are losing hope in the light. And, uh, you know, is this film going to do something in terms of maybe strengthening our faith, as you mentioned, you know, the importance of faith and you described it and defined it as well as it, is it going to give us maybe a compass or, you know, because you mentioned crossroads. Absolutely. Uh, so what do you want people to, to take away from this uh, and uh, also be inspired to do? I'll say I, I wouldn't go so far as to say people are losing hope in the light as much as I feel that they're losing sight of where the real light is. Mm. Political parties can only do so much. And, and, and especially those of African descent. We have always been a spiritual people first. And none of us have any business putting all of our faith in any one man. 
The political parties, the people we put in office, are there to help govern our societies on higher levels, but they are not responsible for governing our spiritual selves. Hmm. And this is where leg by Christ and the crossroad comes in, because the crossroad represents both the external and the internal choice. There are some things we have control over every second, every moment of our lives. So, yes, our people do need to get to the voting poll. But what are you doing to improve yourself on the way to the voting poll? What are you going to do to improve yourself and the energies around you on the way from the voting poll? Hmm. And that is the power that belongs to you. And when in, any, in any street, sidewalk that you drive or walk on is your road. So are you on the right side of the road should be the constant question. Hmm. Thank you for that call. Thank you for that call. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Appreciate that call. Once again, the number is 713-526-5738. That's the number to call in and support the show tonight. How you support the show is by, um, you know, putting your dollars, um, you know, where your mouth normally is when it comes to your expression, you know, when it comes to your opportunity to get your, once again, so support all of your projects, all of your events, and those, you know who you are. Uh, yes, we are. We, we 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 want you to dial that same number to call your when you sponsor your event. Once again, that number you know it is seven one three five two six five seven three eight. So therefore, you can be a part of the conversation. Now, um, I also wanted you to uh, bless us with, uh, you know, um, something tonight. Um, um, a little bit something on the um, inspirational side, but I know you already have some things already, uh, you know, ready to go. So I'm just gonna let you do your thing now. Okay. Um. I'll share a piece from the journal, but everyone's already heard the tab, and I don't want to wear it out. But um, the poems in this journal were written on guest check slips before I retired from becoming a from a waitress to being a full time diviner, full time oracle. So that's where the title of the book comes from: Memoirs in Waiting, because these were actual poems written off my guest check slips between wiping down tables and doing the work of my ancestors if you will because I, I did feel those energetic regressions when we had to set the big tap the, the big tops and serve the big parties and then bust all the silverware and roll and polish I could feel the energies of the same thing that my ancestors our ancestors had to do in the big houses mm. and it was like well what was it that got them through those days because you know our, our grandmothers, our grandfathers, and if you find your living elders, sit down at their feet and they'll tell you these stories. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a piece that I wrote called The Charm. And this is based on a true story. I actually worked at a restaurant where the manager called me The Charm. Like every time there was a fussy, crazy table, they always sent me. Mm. <laughs> so this piece is called The Charm. <laughs> Take a breath. The cafe called me the charm, passing me the hungry personalities other waiters found hard. Uh-oh, bitterness and jeopardy ring the alarm. Then they send for me the serving charm. For the guests deemed fussy and patent, been waiting some cussing. Really, the energy just needed adjusting so motherly patience and currency can flow. But still, I'm paid next to nothing. Priceless moments seem touching, but Daddy owns every pocket in the room, so I always had enough. I assume nothing of anyone, except the universal need to feed of everyone. My job? Perhaps. A little bit under running laps around this establishment, but to restore the body and the spirit of all who sit before me. And they order as many refills as they need. I smile, not see it as greed. The cafe called me. The charm. Through given dilemmas, sometimes profile charged warnings, more of a spiritual relief hidden behind a waitress garment, graceful in spite of an occupation of torment, the cof the cafe called me the charm. Filling, be filling bellies, empty spirits, leaving hearts warm, choosing not to bash and counting more cash as the end I might result. And number, table number rations. The only thing I ever really served was compassion. The cafe called me the charm. I answer muse.
Hey, um, you know, where else are you going to get that but the conscious mindset? Come on now. Come on now. Why don't you go ahead and let the folks know once again where they can um, enjoy. Now, there's going to be some other things going on at the shrine as well during that event. Yeah, but yeah, you're not just, you know. No, there, I, there is another event going on. Oh, I wish I had the information on it. I'll just say this. My event's from 6 to 9, but their event, I believe, starts in the early afternoon. So just come in the early afternoon so you can get a Are double scoop. Are there any vending up. opportunities at your event as well? Or is, it just, or is there any vending opportunities for anyone? Um, yes, there are a few vend- yes, there are vend- vending opportunities. Uh, you will have to contact Miss Naila with the Shrine of the Black Madonna. Okay. Okay, because you know, you know, if somebody's having an event, you know, it's always good to get out there and get your products exposed because um, there's going to be um, a very diverse crowd coming through, and it'd be great exposure for what you're doing. Now, how can they find out more information once again about the event? Tell them the time, everything. Make sure that they're on that they're locked in. Yes, um, I also wanted to point out that it's a red and black affair, so no one has to go out and buy anything. But red and black hold attire on, on, is certainly hold on, hold on, encouraged. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't just throw that out there and not explain why red and black. Well, red and black is the color of the crossroads. Okay. Okay. Because red energy, okay, let's talk about red energy because this book is red. You're going to see a lot of red, black, and white symbolism in the movie. And African spirituality, the keeper of the crossroads is Eshu. And that's why the title of the event is called Who is Eshu? Eshu is the keeper of the gate, the keeper of the crossroad. They refer to him as the divine trickster because he tests what's inside of you. For example, um, has anyone ever seen the film The The Devil's Advocate where Al Pacino mm-hmm. played, mm-hmm. you know, the enemy? Mm-hmm. And he says, I'm no puppeteer, Kevin. Mm-hmm. I just set the stage. You pull your own yes. strings. So it's a vibration of that energy because everyone has inner choices, outer choices. So I thought it would be fun to make it a red and black affair because of the journal. The whole color scheme is red and black. Okay. Okay. Now, is um, they, do they get tickets in advance? I mean, how do they how do they become involved? Or is it? It's free admission. Whoa! Oh, wonderful free event. Free right? admission. Now, I will have my artwork there and copies of the audio book, and um, the I have a few print copies of a journal, but not very many of them. But you can visit my website at www.poeticallymuse.com dot com forward slash is in goma. That's I I I S A N G O M A. Or you can just go to poeticallymuse.org dot org and the main page will lead you to the journal. But the event itself is free admission. I, I want to give this one. All right. All right. I want to give this one. Hey, hey, you know, now, folks, now, just because she says free admission, remember, she's she's an artist as well. So, so don't leave your pocketbook at home because she's a fantastic artist. You're going to want to take some of her artwork home. I'm thank telling you. you. I'm telling you. Um, so, yeah, once again, thank you for coming back through, my sister, and blessing thank us Thank you this for week. having me. And, um, you know, w- one thing we would like to do is um, if you, you were so fantastic at just jumping in and helping on the phones, would you mind helping on the phones as far as, uh, you know, could we expect some phone calls to start coming in at 713-526-5738. <laughs> that is the number to participate this week in the um in the conversation and um if you could um i know you said you were gonna be able to hang around we got plenty of you know they got good food still out there left for you so we definitely appreciate you coming through and if you can help out um we definitely appreciate it. i mean this this is just just grab the phone like it was just <laughs> like you know no no prepping no nothing she just jumped mm-hmm. in you know what i'm saying so well, radio, we, radio campaigning isn't anything new for me uh, you know and, i mean you said that you got some history here why don't you go ahead and share that with the folks real quick? Yes. Oh, you're making me spill the beans and rinse out the can tonight. You ain't got to give them the year. Uh-huh. You ain't got to give them the year. You can just say some time yeah, ago. The, yeah, some time ago I actually um, I interned here um, for a little while as a co-host on the World Music Express show with Harrison Kumi. All right, all right. So, so, so you've been behind the mic and been doing your thing for a while. So we definitely appreciate you coming through and looking forward to your event. Yes, sir. Thank red you. Red and black. Remember, red and black. You know what I'm saying? I'm be coming up in there in a red and blue. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know my, you know my, you know my red was in the, in the cleaners. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Um, so yeah, we definitely appreciate you coming through, my sister. Thank you. Thank um, you very much. <clears throat> now, um, we want to go ahead and um, you know, kind of switch the switch the, the the tone a little bit because we wanted to um have the brothers come through. 
And uh, let's go ahead and um, I need I need Doc up in here. Can we, can we have Doc? You can, uh, oh, brothers, is is this my cue to exit? Uh, <laughs> just yes, ma'am. <laughs> We definitely appreciate your energy for you being a part of it so far. Thank you. Thank you all for having me. Thank you for the ear. Thank you all out there for listening. Um, go ahead. Make those pledges. So I'm going to be seven, taking three, the pledges five, for two, a couple six, of hours. Five, so, seven, yes. Three, eight. One, oh, yeah. and uh, one, one more thing before I go. Sure. Where do I sign up? Dollar. So let's talk currency. All video production Writing, costuming, makeup, video editing, book publishing, website upkeep, and more are done by one person and one person only. Yours truly. Your support will greatly be accepted and appreciated in expanding this knowledge of my Oracle Book of Summaries, Crawl of Oracles. While I do like donations, I also love the art of reciprocity. So please visit my website at www.poeticallymuse.org. Subscribe to my Vimeo and YouTube channels for the latest updates on my spiritual teachings. To schedule your signature reading, to get a bottle piece, or to obtain your copy of the Isn't Goma Arch Journal. Ashe.